YouTube. Hello, it's me, Cassie Swain. How are you guys doing? Um, it has definitely been quite a while, I should say. Um, about two years has gone by. Crazy, crazy two years. Um, and amazing two years, I have to say. Life is fabulous and I have nothing to complain about. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> um, I've really, really missed blogging um, and I'm kind of nervous. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Um, I say um a lot. I'm really going to try not to do that. Anyway, a little recap. So I have a boyfriend and he, it's been like two years now and he's amazing. He's the sweetest thing ever and he, he really does a good job. He cooks for me all the time. He feeds me. He is super sweet. Um, and we have such a fabulous time together. And I couldn't be happier. I see him every single day, and things with us are really, really good. Um, so, yay! And acting has been super, super slow. I haven't had anything really. I had one audition for this like Nick Jr. thing two weeks ago, but that was like the first thing ever in forever. Bums me out, but. Yeah, that's, it's, it's my fault also. I'm, I need to put more of the energy out there, you know what I mean? Um, but hey, why not just be a, a YouTube sensation? You know, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a YouTube sensation. That's where I'm going to get my start. So, <laughs> so let's, um, you know, hope for the best and yes okay what else uh still cutting hair here and there that's going well and no complaints with that no people not liking my haircut so that's good and my car i still have my car and knock on wood everything is fantastic with that i have a wonderful job and I'm doing cocktailing and bottle service, and things are so much better than they used to be. Um, I live in a condo with my two sisters, and which they're never here. I'm never here. I don't even stay here. Um, but yes, how much time? Three minutes. Whoa, I feel like I've been talking forever. Um, I've missed all of you guys, and Poppy Flower, you had your baby, and I want to know all about that. Um, Rich Dreams Teacher, Clicky13, I miss all you guys, and I hope to continue making videos. Um, it's Friday night, it's Friday night and the moon, <laughs> I'm just kidding, uh, yikes. Um, yeah, it's Friday night, and my boyfriend's working, and apparently I have no friends. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but I'm home by myself right now, and I felt like it was definitely time for a little blog. A bloggy-woggy. Alright, uh, I feel super immature. But, yes. <laughs> okay, well... I think that's it. No, that's not it. There's so much that's happened, and I feel like I'm really not saying anything because I'm nervous a little bit. Um, let's see. My cat passed away. That's really sad. Last Father's Day. It was on Father's Day, and he passed away. And he's visited me in my, um, in my dreams a few times, and I woke up, like, super sad, but he's awesome, my, my little kitty. And I haven't gotten another one yet, because I'm never home, and I don't think it's fair, 
and my boyfriend won't have it at his place because it's just not right timing. Um, but yes, my job's fabulous, and oh man, okay, here's here's a crazy story. Couple like a month ago, I was at um, a club on Sunset. And I was walking in the pedestrian crosswalk. It wasn't a major crosswalk. It was just a crosswalk with no lights or anything. So I, I leave this club. My, my friend was performing. So I went to go visit and, you know, support. So anyway, I'm leaving. I'm going through the crosswalk. I go halfway, make sure that the cars, you know, that are coming this way stopped. And then I stop halfway and I look. And there's a car that stops, and that's the only car I see. And I'm like, thank you, you know, and I continue walking. I hear someone go, oh, my God. And for some reason, I knew I knew that was for me. So right when that random person said that, I look, and a car, 35, 45 miles an hour, is coming right at me. And I have no, there's no chance for me to think or do anything it came at me and for some reason I did this like matrix move and my body moved without me even thinking about it anyway long story short car hits me it hits my arm and my shoulder I do a 360 still standing on my feet at the end and I'm in shock like oh my god I just got hit by a car I'm in shock the guy hesitates finally pulls over because the two pedestrian guys were like pull over pull over right now anyway I only get this guy's phone number don't even think about hey let me get your license or your you know take down your driver's license information your insurance and um, false information of course the guy's number didn't even turn out my arms fine it did definitely hurt for a couple weeks and I was in pain anyway the moral to the story is Recently, within this week, I was, I had my TV on, and I hear this story on the news about this girl getting killed by walking in the pedestrian crosswalk on the Sunset Strip. Well, I found out just today that that girl left the exact same place that I left when I got hit and I know I know that she was at that crosswalk and it wasn't at a major light like I said and I really feel like I should contact the police or someone and maybe the city I, I don't know who I would go through but just contact someone and really let them know that I got hit there too and now this girl is dead like that could have been me that really could have and I don't know how I got so lucky but I think that they should put some sort of flashers there or some sort of indication that hey this is a crosswalk and late at night especially on the weekends if people are drinking you really need to have indication um, and warning lights something to show that you need to slow down and it's such a bummer about that girl and I feel really bad but it's it's crazy like I get goosebumps thinking about it cuz that is exactly where I was I'm positive I'm positive I just have a feeling um, but anyway I am going to keep this short and sweet and thank you so much I've missed you guys and I hope you're doing awesome um, I will be checking in on everybody. Thanks. Bye.